Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got the results of using my Omnilux LED face mask, my neck and chest mask, and my hand mask for the last three months. So as you guys know, I've gotten way into LED red light therapy over the last year or so. It first started when I got a, wait, this is stuck to my watch. There. Okay, now I'm unstuck. It first started when I received another mask in PR from another company and it was during the pandemic and I was like, well, this thing's been laying around here. Why don't I pop it on my face and use it? So I put it on. I didn't really know that much about LED light therapy and what it could do for your skin or for anti-aging. Then I used that mask consistently like three or four times a week for three months and then I did a before and after results video much like this one on it and I was just blown away by the differences in my skin using that mask. Well then that sent me on a deep dive into trying to figure out what made a good LED mask and that brought me to the Omnilux mask. So the Omnilux mask is a fairly new mask for at-home use but the Omnilux company is kind of the gold standard in LED anti-aging treatments. They make the big panel arrays that you would see at a dermatologist's office and pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for one 20 minute session. And when I compared it to the other masks, it definitely seemed like the best one because it had the most light bulbs, it had the right amount of intensity, and it sat really, really close to the skin the way that this mask is designed with these two straps here. You could get a really tight fit to your face, which really helps these at-home masks to work better. So I contacted the Omnilux company. They sent me these masks in PR, but this is not a sponsored video. These are FDA cleared and they do use the 633 nanometer red light, which has been shown to increase collagen and elastin production. They've also been shown to increase collagen density. It also uses 830 nanometer near infrared light which has been shown to penetrate deep into the skin and it's been shown to be anti-inflammatory and help with wound healing and the combination of both lights together will give you smoother plumper clearer more radiant skin so here's the face mask this is the controller that comes with it you just press this button and hold until the mask comes on then the red lights come on and you are ready to use it. So you would already have this on your face and I could just bring in a little footage of me with it on so that you can see how tight it fits to the skin. Now this definitely was the tightest fitting mask of all the masks that I tried and definitely got the bulbs much, much closer to the skin. This was also the most comfortable mask that I tried. I really like this one. There was one very similar to this, but it didn't have as many light bulbs. This has 66 red light and 66 near infrared light bulbs. It even has bulbs in the little nose flaps. <laughs> Um, and these nose flaps are silicone and bendy, so they don't hurt my nose. A lot of the other masks that were the hard plastic, they really sat heavy on my face. They really hurt my nose or they left a dent in my face that wouldn't pop out for hours and hours and hours. When you press the button, the cycle is 10 minutes and you're supposed to use it about three or four times a week. So I would just pretty much alternate days with it. If I missed a day, like I forgot to do it, then the next time I did it, I would just do two rounds. So when it automatically shut off after the 10 minutes, I just press it again and do it for another 10 minutes. You don't really need to do any skincare with the face mask. All right, let me also show you the neck and chest mask. This one, same kind of controller, and these are rechargeable. So you unplug this from here, plug it into a different cable that they provide you, plug that into the wall, and that's how you recharge it. So when you're ready, you just plug it in here, press it, and then the lights come on this one as well. This mask has 54 bulbs, which is also more than the next closest competitor. And this one is for your neck and chest. So this one comes with two different straps. I like the super long strap on it. I just wrap it around there twice and then it's on and I am ready to go. Again, would also have the face mask on and I just take my little nap. I do this one in the morning too, but I like this one because I love the tight fit on it. Now, a couple of people have written in and said like what they really are missing from it because when you have the face mask on, you're not getting like this under part here. And I gotta say, I was thinking about that the other day, you guys, and I thought you could just take this one 
and using this long cord, you could wrap it around your face like this. Like, remember those toothache things? Oh my goodness, the things that I do for you guys. <laughs> But anyway, this was my big idea for how you could get those areas by just using the same mask. I really enjoy the flexibility of these. I like it that, you know, you could buy this and use it for a couple of different areas. I do have the separate hand mitt, but you could also use this one as a hand mitt. You could just, you know, lay it on top of your hand like this, and then you could be getting a hand treatment that way. So they are versatile. You don't necessarily have to get all three, but if you're short on time and you want to treat all three areas you could definitely get all three masks and the hand mitt is the third one that I've been using I was only using it on one hand the light doesn't generate any heat so you really don't feel anything while you're using them the contour glove is $345 and the face and neck masks are $395 a piece I do have a 10% off discount code with Omnilux it's Angie 10 that will get you 10% off at checkout. If you're buying one or two, I would go ahead and use my code ANGIE10. If you're watching this the day I put it up or a couple days after, Omnilux is having a big sale for Memorial Day weekend this year. And if you buy three or more devices, you'll get 15% off. So if you are going to go ahead and use their 15% off discount because you heard about it in my video, um, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and use my link to get over there anyway, because that way I'll still get credit for the sale and um, you'll get the discount. I feel like I start noticing a difference in my skin after I've used the mask for about a month and a half. I feel like the quality of my skin is so much better. I feel like it's so much less crepey. I feel like the fine lines and wrinkles are definitely diminished. Now I do have to say though it didn't erase my giant you know expansion joint lines but I have had these lines for Ever. Like, I was just looking back on pictures from when I first started my YouTube channel when I turned 50. Those lines were there. And so they're not going anywhere. I have had, what did I have, two Fraxel laser treatments two years ago, and those lines didn't budge. So you have to keep your expectations reasonable, especially with at home products like these. When I'm looking down into my phone, which I tend to do, am I still a little bit? <laughs> horrified at what I see down here, like all my turtle fur? Yeah, because it's not gonna make all this skin like suddenly disappear, but I do feel like that skin is firmer. As I mentioned before, I had already used that other mask for the better part of a year before I started using this one. So my results pictures, you have to take into account that I was using another LED mask prior to using this one on my face, but I wasn't using one on my neck, chest, or my hand. So my before and after pictures are really gonna concentrate on the neck. I noticed that when I took the before pictures, I wasn't really thinking of my chest and I pretty much just took them from here up. So I don't have chest stuff to show you, but I do have hand, neck, and face stuff to show you. Now, I always like to give you my disclaimer before I go ahead and show you the pictures. I take these pictures in an at-home setting. My camera is on a stationary tripod that never moves. So the camera is always at the same angle. I have my light set up. I never fiddle with my lights or change them or increase the intensity or anything. So the lighting is the exact same for both the before and after pictures, even though they're taken three months apart. Of course, what moves, it's me. So I try to get the same angle, the same expression, if it's concerning my neck, the same amount of chin up or chin down, because that really makes a huge difference in neck pictures. So with that all said, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after pictures. All right, so in this first group of pictures, I am definitely seeing a huge difference in the quality of the skin on my neck. I never know what to expect with these. I'm always like, you know, biting my fingernails, hoping for the best with them, but it could go badly. I've done before and after pictures where I don't see a bit of difference and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But in these, I see more than a bit of difference. I see a big difference, especially when I am looking so far down that my neck is hugely wrinkled up. From the front, I think that when I'm looking down at something, the lower part of my neck looks much, much less crepey, much, much less wrinkled. I feel like the skin just looks, I don't know, just better all over. It looks clearer, it looks plumper. And so it's all good for me from the front. 
Let's take a look at my neck from the side. I feel like the differences here are a little bit less dramatic than they were from the front, but I feel like you can still see a reduction in the wrinkles and especially a reduction in the crepiness towards the front of my neck, kind of above my big wrinkle there. If you look at that skin up close, you can see that it's much, much less crepey. Then if we look at it from the other side with my head tipped forward, kind of creating all of my big wrinkles and turtle fur, um, unfortunately, it didn't erase my wrinkles completely, so I do still have some of that bunching up under there. It's not going to ever be mistaken for a 20-year-old neck. But I do think that there is a big difference in the plumpness of the skin. I feel like the wrinkles are a little bit less deep. I feel like the sagging is a little bit less saggy. All right, let's move on to the hand pictures. I think you can see that the skin is in a little bit better quality. The age spots are faded a bit and it looks definitely a little brighter and a little bit less crepey and less wrinkly. Okay, now let's move on to the face. The before pictures that I'm using here are the after pictures from last July when I had used the other face mask for three months. So Figured that would be a good starting point since I was using that face mask. I'm not really seeing a huge, huge difference in like my wrinkles, but I gotta say when I did the previous before and after, I did see a big difference in like my crow's feet. I thought that that was pretty impressive. What I'm noticing here is just the overall brightness and clarity of my skin. I feel like the redness is even reduced a little bit more in this. I feel like my age spots are reduced more, especially in these like profile pics where you can really see the age spots that I have on the side of my face and I just feel like my skin is brighter. I just feel like my skin looks overall plumper and firmer. But anecdotally, I gotta say that I've never been happier with my skin you know, since I turned 50 as I am with it right now. At the oldest that I've ever been, I like my skin better now than I did even nine years ago when I started my channel. Like I feel like everything has paid off and this has just kind of accelerated the results so much and I absolutely love it. And you know, today I just put on my sunscreen. I'm not wearing any makeup. Going makeup free is just so nice and I feel like my skin looks so good. So I don't think you can go wrong with these. I think if you wanna buy, you know, one, use my 10% off, two, use my code instead of theirs. But if you want three or more, definitely get the 15% off, but use my link to get over there just so that they know that I sent you. Now, there was one question that everyone keeps asking because I know a bunch of you bought these previously and then then you were looking on their website and you noticed that it said that these masks are not recommended for use with tretinoin, which of course we all use. So I emailed them and I asked them about it. Here's what she wrote back to me in the email. She said, for users taking prescriptive levels of Retin-A, such as tretinoin, we caution against the use of light devices as these may cause a skin reaction between five and 10% chance. She went on to say that, while well, on the rarer side, we have seen some instances of this. This goes for all medications that can cause photosensitivity. If there is a reaction, it's usually skin redness, inflammation, and irritation similar to a sunburn effect. Even though the risk is fairly low, they always recommend consulting with a prescribing physician dermatologist if there's any concern. So that is something that you need to consider. I did not discontinue using my Retin-A. I didn't have a reaction. I was not in the five to 10% of people who might have a reaction. You of course have to make up your own mind about what you wanna do for your skin, but definitely be careful with it if you're on Retin-A and if you have a sensitivity to light because you know I don't want you to damage your skin. I've been really happy with the product. I love it. I'm gonna to continue to use it. So I hope the pictures were helpful for you. I hope they help you make a decision about whether this is the right device for you. So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.